Um, alright, so now I have to go back and get dog meat. This is a... Dude. <laughs> oh, man. That, uh, that mannequin creeped me the freak out just a second ago. Because I didn't know, I didn't see he was back there. And I just see these eyes, like, oh, staring at me. Yeah, that, that got me. Hey everybody, welcome back to Buffer Zone Games. Uh, we just opened a door at the end of the last episode and we found Nick. And it looks like he's captive to whoever this tool bag is. So, we need to bust him out, but I kind of want to get an idea of who all's in here. I want to see if I can take this guy out from here. Oh, with a headshot since he's not paying attention. Ah, oh, crud. For real? Really? What? Did somebody actually see me? What kind of crap is that? Okay, I don't know how that happened. That's a little frustrating. But we can take care of this. Damage is 13. Takes 45s. There was a... That thing does some pretty serious damage. That does some really serious damage. Let's do this. Okay, go ahead. Come on through. Huh. Guess it was nothing after all. Oh. You just gave up then, didn't you? So where did this guy go? What the crap. I don't know where he went. Oh, is he downstairs? He's downstairs. Yeah, they're downstairs. Okay, I'll just let them come up, because I'm going to mess them up with this pretty bad. As soon as they decide to show up. As of right now, they're all below me. No? Okay, I can play that game too. That's fine. Hello! There he is. Go ahead. Good. Oh, Dino. No wonder this is taking a long time. We're fighting some kind of mob boss. Dino. Bubba. What you running from, Scout? Huh? Where you running from, man? Oh yeah, he's hurting. Where is he at? There he is. Alright. That takes care of that guy. I do want to whip this thing back out though. Yeah, pipe revolver rifle. This thing is a beast. I really like to use it up close and personal. There was there were two people in here. Nothing in your lockers? Come on, guys. Nothing in your lockers. What kind of mafia group are you? You're so disorganized. It's pretty dang... Well, it's embarrassing, really. Cram. Don't mind if I do. Ammo. Yes, please. I haven't even shot this thing. I don't even know what it sounds like. I, have ju I just feel like it's... It's gonna sound like it's... I don't know, like it's got hair on it. You know what I mean? Just some oomph. Some bing bang boom. We can open this baby. Nice. Nice. That's what I said. Scalpel, yes please. Uh wonder glue. I'm sure that could be Hey you! Good for something. I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles. Oh. Get this door open. Yep, sorry, Dino. 
Dino? Not Dino. Whatever his name is. Just let me do some searching real quick, okay? Oh no, we have to go up. Oh yeah, he's up there. Right, 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 right. My bad, dude. My bad. I remember now. You gotta hack that terminal to open up this door. What terminal? Is there a terminal downstairs? There's no terminal here. Oh, terminal. Wow, I... Okay. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> These can be kind of a pain. Except when you guess it right on the first one. Like Juke. Juke doesn't like me. Okay. Talk bids pure duel. Care wisp wife hall. Base. Cure. Zero likeness in cure. Zero likeness in juke. Okay. Pace shares E with both of those. Base does well, so does line. So technically, nothing in this group should work. Hall does not share with either Cure or Juke, so that's a possibility. Wife shares, Wisp does not, Care shares, Dual shares, Peer shares. Uh, bids does not, Talk does not. Poop. Wisp. Talk. Got it. Yeah, that was totally luck. Don't, don't believe for one second that I Knew that was gonna work. Manual override is initiated. Opening door. Well, good. That was the whole point. Are you, uh. Oh, uh, that's why people sure don't like you. The question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. You're a synth, dude. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped, but I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame, and she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Okay, Nick. Speech bobblehead. Heck yeah, I'll take that. Hold on, Nick. Stop talking, bud. I'm sure what you're saying is real important and stuff, and I really want to hear it. But I also want to make sure that I don't just walk out of here without getting what I need to get, or what would be good to have to get. You had a terminal in here. Ooh, interviews. Interesting. Vase. Vase, for those of you who are more hoity-toity than I. Okay. Mm Alright, Nick. If that is, in fact, your real name. Valentine. You're not really in much of a hurry, are you there, pal? Duct tape, silver spoon. Don't worry, I'm behind you. I'm coming. I'm just getting distracted by stuff. There they are. Okay. I want to play this. The only job is to check on the prison. Why does that take so long, huh? Hey, Dino, quit razzing that detective and get down here. Where the heck is he? Okay. Oh, there they are. Uh, how do we want to play this? What's the range on this weapon that I've got right now? 101 versus 191. Okay, so it's kind of like... It's kind of an up-close personal situation. Institute rifle, ooh, much better range. Damage is electric, though. Whereas this is physical. <laughs> okay. Um...
probably have. Oh, I've got just about the same amount of ammo in both. Okay, well. If I could take someone out with a headshot before they see us, that would be wonderful. But also, this whole light situation. Can I not turn my light off? Can I not turn my light off? How do I do that? Can I turn my bowler head on? Does that make my light turn off? No. Okay. Thought I'd try. How do I turn the freaking light off? Why can't I turn the light off? No? Ah, oh, crud. Move! Okay. Okay. So, that sucks. Now we just go straight to weapons, pull out the... The one that's gonna do the most damage between the two of you actually is this guy. So. Don't stamp in front of me! You dumb Valentine! What's your problem? You big goober! Sit down! Oh, this gun! Heck yeah! Is that everybody? Are you all. Are you all done? Where's the guy that was here? Did I... Wow, how'd you end up way over here? Did I explode you? Uh, hairbrush? No. You probably don't need a hairbrush, dude. You're bald. That's kind of a waste of space, really, isn't it? Potato. Yes, please. A can. No. A dirty blue suit. Mm, blowtorch. Uh, yes, please. Patched three-piece suit. As cool as that sounds, I'm gonna have to pass. And what do you got on you? Why my my overseer door password? Tactical armor piercing. Uh, yeah, you had me at tactical. Okay, so why? Stop it. Why does my character? Why can he not run anymore? Like, I'm not carrying too much by any stretch of the imagination. So what's what's the situation there? Why junk? Can I Okay, let's drop the ball peen hammer. Don't eat that. What do I have? Blowtorch is important. Gotta keep that. Chessboard, not important. Cigar box, valuable. That's also valuable. Circuitry. That's valuable. Uh, coolant, copper is good, crystal, cutting board, not, not valuable. Deathclaw hand, looks a little valuable. Mmm. It's five pounds, it's kind of valuable. Oh yeah, gears, glass, okay, that's if I break it down. Circuitry, super important. Pack of cigs. Pre-war money. Scalpel, scissors, screwdriver, turpentine, uh, values not really all that high, wonder glue, I mean, Sack with straps? Sack hood with straps? Don't need that. I don't... I don't really need my original lots. And I don't need the bowler hat anymore. I am... I am more than light on my feet now. Like, Hard I'm not caring too much. Well, the job done. But I can't... Like, I freaking cannot... Go faster than this. Doors on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. This is gonna drive me bananas. Almost got. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Good job, Nick. Oh, 
also can't figure out why I'm glowing. What? Whoa! Oh you just passed the other guy by. Coming at me with a freaking baseball bat, you turd. You turd monger. Mahogany baseball bat. Alright, very funny. Get back to work. Um, who's shooting? Anybody? Oh, yep, there's a dude. Okay. Good grief. These guys can take a lot. They can take a beating. I'll give you that. You sure can take a beating. Oh, come on. Sit down. You're making me waste all kinds of ammo, and I don't appreciate it. So take that, and that, and that's it. Ooh, and that. Ooh. I splattered him. Okay, I don't need any of that. Or that. Nick, my man. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to keep up, but as you can see, I gotta unlock a wooden crate. Everyone else understands, right? There we go. That's it. All that for... Well, now there's a couple good things in there. A plastic plate's not really gonna make me get all super excited or anything. Bowler hat? I had one of those once. Don't really care for it. Okay. So, who are we dealing with slash waiting for? Dude, you're a robot. Don't act like you get tired. Okay, we're doing all right, but I probably want to get I probably want to get healed up a little bit. That's better. It's better. You guys, I will take that. And I will take that. I appreciate your business. I appreciate your business. Okay, well, that sucks. All this work for no loot. Where's the loot? Some machine gun. Whiskey. Whiskey. You guys really like whiskey, don't you? Pack of cigarettes. I will take that. Battered clipboard. You can keep that one for your own little treasure stash. Him alone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic. Stinky Malone. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. <gasps> a vault 114 jumpsuit. Well, I guess we're just God, collecting a. Gotta hear big fat foot starting a collection. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. I am ready for anything. Wow. It's like there was a huge vacuum on the other side and it just sucked them right through. Is that gonna happen to me? Yes. Yes, it is. The door barely opened and yet I went through somehow. That's a little weird. What are you doing? You're coming to my house? Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh. Poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should've left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should've just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dollar, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. 
Um, I know it's not going to work because we suck at talking. Um, let's be sarcastic. That's that's totally me in real life. If you know me, that's... Yeah. That wasn't the plan originally, but hey, tempting. Hey, I'm the one in charge here. You got something to say? Say it to me. Look at yourself. Darla's playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. You're... You're right. <gasps> Things have gone nothing but south since she walked into my life. Word. What are you talking about, Skinny? I'm saying you're dragging me and this whole operation down a bad road, Toots. We're through. Well, fine then. I'm going back home. I don't need you, you fat ass. They always gotta hit you where it hurts. Now what am I gonna do about you two? I know. I'm gonna give you until the count of ten. I still see your ugly faces after that. I'm gonna start shooting until there ain't no more bullets left in this whole vault. We gotta get out of here fast. One. Two. Uh. I'm trying. So, small note, he can't see my face, I'm wearing a mask. So, he's kind of stupid. Oh god. Can you please run? Are we being followed? Kinda hard to tell. Up! Yeah! Look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Uh, Piper. Who's Ellie? Your secretary, Ellie. She oh. sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now. You mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Hmm. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Follow me. Word. Come on, Robo. Okay. Mannequin? Mannequin. Okay. Getting a clue. Traveling in the Commonwealth as long as I have, you learn a few things. It's Someone's such a pain out. in the butt, dude. I need to be able to jog again. Where are you going? What is happening right now, exactly? What is... what? What and why? Psycho what? Birds coming out. There's somebody upstairs. Oh, sure enough. The Raider Scabber. There he goes. Okay, wait. Hold on. I, I, I want. Hold on, Nick. I want to get my stuff back. Side. I want my stuff back. Where are you, a-holes? Dad gummit. I want my stuff back. Big turds. Okay. I don't think I'm getting any of that stuff back. I guess it's safe. 
Come on. Don't waste your time and energy on them. They're dumb. Oh! Mongrel dogs. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy jeepers, I need some help, bro. Bro, bro. Security keeps the perimeter under control, but it's always a struggle. Despite the mayor's bragging, it really is the most secure settlement around, even if it comes with a few uptight guards. This uh, semi looks like a caterpillar. Oh, sorry. That's a popo. For show, so I think we're alright. I'm coming, dude. Yes. Trying not to slow you down, but uh, I got this thing. It just won't let me run. I don't know what the deal is. I can sprint just fine. No jogging, though. Everything's got to be slow. Getting close. Oh, this is where I originally... Okay, I know where we are. This is where I originally helped those guys out. Oh, I need to get the latest issue of public occurrences because my interview is probably in it. This is super annoying. I gotta figure out what I can do to fix this. I'm assuming we're going back to... I don't know where we're going as well as you do, I guess, huh? You live here, not me. Yeah, yeah, you're Detective Hole. Oh, come on. I don't get why it doesn't let me in right after someone else goes into a door. It drives me crazy. to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I see. You were more uh, worried about your job. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Okay. Let's describe the murder. My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. 
you don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me... the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. Who were the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, Scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Okay. Is there anything in here for me to go ahead and cue ball? No, that's kind of dumb. Uh, stim pack, yes, please. Gourd. Cram, cola, Salisbury steak. You've been holding out on me there, dude. You've been holding out, Bobby Pin? Yes, please. Okay, are we good? Q 
Okay. Interesting. So I can come out on the street, but I probably shouldn't. Okay, let's go. Hey, Valentine. Follow me. Let's check out this house Kellogg left vacant. So when you say follow you, do you mean stand here and just awkwardly look into your cold, dead eyes? Or do you mean that you're going to walk somewhere and that when you do start walking somewhere, I should follow you? Okay. There he goes. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about the dog before his disappearance He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Nick. Come on. Kellogg's house ain't far. Are you stopping because I'm in your way or what? Kellogg's house is this way. I would love to follow you. an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Okay. Lock tight. Wait, it's a master. I can't do a master lock. No luck? We need to find the key. See that platform in the distance? Near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Oh man. The mayor's office is near the entrance of the city. It's a platform that should take you up. Okay. Get the key to Kellogg's. Alright. Now I gotta go back down. Well, you really can't fit a whole lot into a baseball stadium. It's funny that they called this place a city. Oh, hey! Why doesn't the mayor come out of his office, huh? He's afraid of talking to the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Nah, -uh. Not until it's in print. You can read all about it in the next issue. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more... responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? Go right ahead. His office is open. He likes to make time for everyone when he can. Mm-hmm. No funny business around the mayor. Oh Got no, it. I'm not funny at all. No, no. <laughs>
Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but... However horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. I understand. You have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. So that's it? You're not gonna help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. You're a douche. Okay. Uh, can I talk Did to you? Did you need something else? Can I sweet talk you? Uh, yeah, house keys? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Well, you do seem like a sweet guy. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. Yeah, me too. I will just take that key and uh, be on my way. Oh, I thought I was going to just run off the platform. That would have sucked. That would have made me just a little bit angry. Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. All right, what are we going to find? Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. <gasps> a hot plate. Uh, we learned our lesson on that. It's super important. There's circuitry in those things. I'll take your stout. They seem small to you. Yes. A guy like Kellogg would think big. What's up here? Nothing. Corn? Uh, nothing here. This corn does not Check look good. Check out that desk. Handcuffs. Gold plate, flip lighter, cooking pot, bed, sleeping bag. Oh no. No, no, no. Something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Switch. A button. Out of sorts. Duct tape, coffee pot, cup, cup. really don't see anything up here that's out of sorts. Um. Aha! A button. But what did that button do? Well, that's one way to hide a room. Ah. Oh. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Oh 
my gosh, he had so much food! Yes, 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 I will take all of that, thank you. Fusion cells, are you kidding me? Nick, missile? Check out what's on that table. Why don't you search Dude, that table and we'll way. compare notes. Oh my gosh. Compensated hair tree. <laughs> so much stuff. Iguana soup? Yeah, I'll take iguana soup. Insta mash? There's so much food here. Empty. That's fine. Sugar bombs? Yes, please. Nuka. Iguana pits. Dirty water? No, I don't want dirty water. Okay. Pack cigarettes. Ale. Um. What am I looking for? Oh, the table. Yeah. The, the, what's on the table? Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't leave us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Dude, how does he know we have a dog named Dogmeat? He's never seen him. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Alright. Well, that guy... Squirrel on a stick. Yes, please. Don't want dirty water. Get rid of that. Okay. Yeah, that guy's the voice in a lot of, uh, and a lot of stuff. He was also the voice, probably Bethesda. Just goes back to him. He was he was the voice for like a ton of people in Skyrim. Um. All right. So now I have to go back and get dog meat. This is a dude. <laughs> oh man, that uh, that mannequin creeped me the freak out just a second ago because I didn't know I didn't see he was back there, and I just see these eyes like oh, staring at me. Yeah, that that got me. Okay. Well, let's end it here. I'm going to have to travel back to get uh, dog meat, let him sniff a cigar, and then we'll be on the trail for uh, this Kellogg dude. But anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the series. I always enjoy getting to hang out with you, and I'll catch you in the next one.